Hey everybody, so I'm back. Today I got a 150th scale Volvo B10 Italia 99. I believe it's called the Barbie Barbie Coach. So this one I had been looking at for a short while on kind of watching it on eBay. There was a couple I found. One was in pretty rough condition. And it had been missed in the front windshield so I let that one it was like 50 bucks a long time ago I let that one go I just recently I've been looking and I found this one it was like $80 from it was like $80 from Colorado so right away I picked it right up now the thing that really attracted me is not only if you look at my collection or my videos I love all those um, you know, from the trucks to the futuristic articulated, pretty much anything Volvo, I'm probably either have, I probably have, or I'm going to get at some point. So, what attracted me is that the front end of the coach reminds me of the Volvo, I think it's the Vision 2020 concept truck. Never been made in scale model form, very low publicity, but I thought that was like really cool, and Volvos have that distinctive shape where the roof line just drops and like bam bloom you see it in the i don't know like fh16s so it's anyways i don't want to spend too much time on that so what's cool is that unlike most models like model coaches this one has actual working doors so let me see i got them worked out just a little bit let me see if i can get this one worked out I'll do this one first. Actually, hold on, let me see. I'm gonna set the chute down real quick. Okay, so as you can see, the little tabs right there, right under. I'm just gonna, sorry about this. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, okay. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do it with one hand. So what's cool is you can actually get a really good field of view right into the coach itself not just looking on the outside but if you want to do you could stick your whole thumb like right into the driver's seat the same goes with the rear end of the coach okay let me see if I can slide this out to give you a better like better view inside So the B10 and I be, believe the B12 were sold through produced throughout Europe and I want to say Central Central America for many many years. I'm not. I think they were phased out. I think it was like for the 9900 Volvo coats. I'm almost sure. But they went through a lot of um, like cosmetic. I'm gonna ask the cosmetic changes. This, I believe, is a, I want to say like a 1988 year. So, later on, the front grew kind of like a, it almost reminded me of like an Oldsmobile face. Almost like an Oldsmobile cutlass face, where it was more streamlined and aerodynamic. So, oh. But, as I understand, the Italia, if I'm reading that right, 99 was more a luxury coach and not necessarily a standard commuter or passenger passenger coach and when I saw it online I did not think it was going to be heavy but this coach is heavy I mean it's made almost completely a solid metal probably apart from the interior there's no plastic to be found and the front suspension is posable. So it should be kind of go like this. Like even with the doors open, it'll still turn. Not a complete sharp, sharp, sharp turn, but it's. Of course, the front headlights almost have like a Volvo. I want to say like a 740 sedan or a more squared off um, like NH12 or VNL look to them with amber 
amber corners and such so of course I want to say that's 99 you guys can correct me if I'm wrong Italia I'm more likely I'm wrong I'm I'm just going on by what it looks like I'm sorry <laughs> so of course it's a um, single single rear axle you got your storage bays right underneath and it's almost in like a DeLorean DeLorean silver that's probably why I think it looks futuristic I don't know like a DeLorean silver so of course you got a really good view into the rear of the coach now you don't often see this with American coaches like MCI's and um, Prevos. Um, and I don't even know if Van Hul does it in the US where for Canada you actually have a back window. I know with most European coaches yeah they'll have the back window with the drapes on them and everything so. Um, on this one I guess this is like the, I want to say like the air conditioning unit when you look up inside there's no air conditioning unit it's just a solid it's a extended like raised raised roof and I'm not too sure you're gonna be able to see it but yeah of course you got your molded air vents escape hatches I guess you could say when you close the doors it goes in flush with the body so if you just saw this driving down the road and you weren't paying attention to the side, you'd think, oh yeah, you would never give it any thought, matter of fact. Or you would just think it was like a maybe wheelchair access, I don't know. And NZG is a company you don't hear about too from what I've seen, you don't hear about them too much. A very interesting piece from a different company. That's very interesting piece so hope you guys enjoy it I know coaches aren't everyone's everyone's cup of tea but uh, here on my channel I like to give you guys something different other than all the time with Peterbilt's and Kenworth so I love variety put it to that way from planes trains automobiles doesn't make a difference if it gets you from point A to point B it's welcome on this channel so with that being said you guys take care